Alexandra Villajuela Abrego and welcome to another episode of Alexandra at Home. In this week's episode, I'm going to teach you how to make a paella. As you can see in front of me, there's a lot of ingredients. If you want to have the full list of ingredients and the recipe, you can just go on alexandrafilajuela.com slash alexandra at home. But I'm going to tell you briefly what are all the ingredients that you'll need to make this recipe. Now, there are some that you can choose to leave out, but if you want to make a really typical, uh, the classic paella, well, you're going to need all of this. So first of all, you need to have a lot of seafood. Here I have all kinds of seafood. I even have also mussels here. I have here shrimps. Um, so I think that when it comes to a paella, if you want to make a typical one, you really need the seafood. Now, the ones that are kind of optional and that you can choose to add would be chicken and also sausages. Here I have some spicy ones, some spicy Italian ones. So you can choose to add that. Then, of course, you need some rice. Very important ingredient that you need. It's the spices. It's the Spanish paprika and the saffron. This is very important uh, ingredients that you'll need to make this recipe. Then you'll need some frozen peas. Then we have some uh, garlic. Then we have some onions. We have, this is going to be more for the garnish. So it's uh, a lemon, uh, olive oil, salt, and pepper. So these are the ingredients that you need. There's people who choose to add other kinds of vegetables such as uh, red peppers or whatnot. You can always choose to do that as well, but this is really my recipe and the way that I do it. Now, if you want to watch also the other episodes of this week's uh, weekends, should I say Alexandra at home uh, that I made, you can always go on alexandravilahual.com slash Alexandra at home and you'll be able to watch them in French and in Spanish, but you have the, the, the recipe and the ingredients in English also on my website. So, but without any further ado, well, let's begin. So to start off your paella, what you have to do is you have to grab one whole onion and all you're going to have to do is to remove the skin from your onion. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this entire onion. We're going to put it in here. In here. Then you're going to add all of your chicken broth. And then you're going to add the saffron and the Spanish paprika to this mix. And of course, a little bit of salt. Basically what this is gonna be is gonna be the base for your paella. This is where your rice is gonna cook after. So this is gonna give it the taste to your rice. This is gonna give the taste to all of your, your, your chicken, to your uh, sausage, to your seafood, to everything really. And this is really the base for it. So what you wanna do is you wanna cook this until it starts boiling and you really wanna leave the onion in there. So while you have your chicken broth boiling, all you have to do is just to uh, cut your onion, your other onion that you have, and your garlic. So you basically want to mince your garlic and you want to cut your onion in small little cubes. The smallest, the better. And now, of course, you just have to cut also and to mince your garlic here. So we're going to start doing that. So now that you're done cutting your garlic and your onion, what we're going to do is that we're going to start preparing the sausages and also the chicken. So all we have to do is just to cut the sausages in little pieces. And then with the chicken, we're going to put them to fry. So we're going to start frying them because it takes a little more time than the seafood to cook. Once the chicken broth is going to be completely ready, we're just going to take the rice, we're going to take the seafood and everything is going to be mixed in together. And that's when we're going to add the chicken and the sausages since they're going to be already kind of pre-cooked. So let's get going with that. So what do you want to do before frying your chicken is of course you want to put a little bit of salt and pepper on it before you fry it. You don't need to do this for your sausages because they probably already have the salt and pepper so you don't necessarily need to do that for them. And now of course you just want to fry your chicken on both sides. And you don't need it to be cooked, you don't need the, the chicken to be cooked completely because anyways, this is gonna go in your paella. It's just that since it takes more time to cook than the seafood and the rice and everything else, well, you need to first kind of pre-cook it to have it a little bit ready. You can even add your sausages at the same time here. And again, they also don't need to be fully, completely cooked. They can just be kind of halfway there. And you put that on a plate with a little cup towel so that it absorbs all of the oil. And now once the chicken has color on the outside, kind of like this, then you can start removing it from your pan. Now that you cooked your chicken and your sausages, well, you need your big paella pan. So you need something big like this. I'm going to put it here and now we're going to add some olive oil. Now, of course, we're going to need a little more than this. We're going to need a lot of olive oil for this one. 
because first we're going to start by putting the onion and the garlic into this pan and after we're going to add the, the rice and finally it's going to be the broth because the reason why we're doing this is we want the rice to already start kind of cooking in the uh the taste of the garlic and of the onion we're going to use this we're going to move it around and we're going to add some spanish paprika to the onion and to the garlic again because we want to have all of the flavors already in this mix and then also in the rice and it's only after that we add the broth once your onion is caramelized you want to start adding your rice to this mix and you want to start moving it you just want to move it around like so of course you don't want your rice to burn so you want to make sure you keep on moving it until the rice is covered with the Spanish paprika, with the onion, the garlic, and of course also the olive oil. So you want your rice to be kind of orangey, kind of red. That's really the goal with the paella. You don't want your rice to be white when you do this. Again, if you go on alexandrapiahuel.com slash Alexandra at home, you ha you'll have the, the list of the ingredients and what kind of rice you'll need for this recipe. So when your rice looks like this really kind of orange and red now you can start adding your broth and this is really going to be amazing this is of course where your rice is going to start cooking you don't need to add the big onion you just leave it in there of course but this is the juice. so now your rice is going to start cooking and while this happens you want to add your seafood because you also want it to cook with everything. So here is your seafood. So you want to start slowly adding it into your paella so that it cooks with the rice and the flavors of the seafood also go in your rice. Now make sure of course you add your seafood when your rice is more than halfway cooked because seafood doesn't take much time to cook, so you wanna make sure you do it you know, towards the end when your rice is almost there, it's almost ready. Now, of course, when it's cooking, you can always taste it to make sure it has the right amount of salt and the right amount of pepper. It's perfect. So if you want, you can, of course, after you taste it, add more salt and more pepper or whatnot. Me, I'm gonna add a little bit more pepper because I always like a lot of pepper in my food. Now, once you see that again, your rice is starting to cook even more, you want to add your chicken so that it finishes cooking. So add it in different places. Here I have only three pieces of chicken, but you can choose to have more, you can choose to have less, you can choose to not even put chicken if you wish to do so. And you want to add also your sausages. Paella is a Spanish uh, meal from Spain and it's very, very popular. And it's just basically a meal that you serve when there's a lot of people that come over. It's the perfect even it's a perfect potluck meal, really. It's something that you just put everything, throw everything in there. It cooks and it's delicious and people really love this meal. I remember growing up and my mom used to make this all the time at home, especially when we had people over. The last two ingredients that you want to add to this recipe are your frozen peas. Of course, you want to mix them around because they don't take much time to cook, right? So you want to add these. And then after, we're going to add the mussels. And we're just going to add them kind of on top. So it's going to be really good. And again, they don't take much time to cook the mussels, so it's the really last thing that you want to add. Also, your, your green peas, you just add them kind of for color. Uh, I think it looks nicer like that. Also, of course, there's some people who like to add some corn to this. Some people like to add some uh, red peppers, you know, little pieces of red peppers. So it really depends on you. You can use your imagination when it comes to making a paella. And finally, the last touch for your paella, all you have to do is to add your mussels so that they cook. So you add them here and you want to add them in a way if you want of course especially if you are having people over and you're serving this to a lot of people you can add them like this in a nice way in presentation you just add them like so kind of on top of your paella since mussels don't take much time to cook just add them like this in a circle and this is really the perfect meal you just serve it in the middle of your table uh, and you know people can can just serve themselves so it's always nice when you're having a lot of people over 
and this is really for everyone because you know you have chicken in here you have seafood you have whatever you wish whatever you like in this meal and this is the final result of your homemade paella as you can see i added a few slices of lemon just for presentation purposes really as you can see all of your muscles are open which means that they're ready and of course your rice and chicken and everything else is cooked as i said before i'm saying it again i think this is the perfect meal to serve when you have a lot of people over you just put it in the middle of the table and everyone can just scoop in and serve themselves it's really the perfect thing to make if you want to have the full recipe with the list of ingredients all you have to do is go on alexandriamiala.com slash alexandra at home and you have all the information there for this recipe and also the two other recipes that were made for this weekend so that is it for this week don't forget to subscribe for new videos alexandra at home on saturdays and for other videos alexandra tv during the week on wednesdays that is it for this week and i will see you soon start preparing them before i would do that again really wasn't charming you stuttered a little did i and i think it's not even on